yeah, again, uh, welcome to, to our innovation day from my side. And I wish you also, it's still January. So I wish you also a very wonderful 2018 and a lot of happiness and uh, yeah, healthiness. So yeah, and I'm really looking forward to 2017 was a very exciting year for us. Yeah, we <laughs> we was very we were very successful. We we won a lot of uh, new customers and especially also leaders on the BPM in Germany. And yeah, we are very 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 happy to see that Symbio is a model for the future. Symbio is a future tool, and yeah, so we are very very focused to set up a very nice. Also very nice here uh, with Symbio in this year. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, our agenda. Um, I'm coming up now with the roadmap and I give you some uh, insights about the customer experience management that we are working internally. And I will give you also um, a few to the documentation digitization. So that's one, one of our big features, one of our epic features in the company that we are focusing uh, at the moment on to integrate this in Symbio. So from the roadmap perspective, uh, the innovation days, that's the same slide that we used in uh, last year in September. Um, so we have a new versioning, it's called 18.01. And you see on the faces uh, that it's a combination of the year and of the release month. So we will focus this year on uh, seven releases and yeah, we can say three main releases. It's 8.01 and 8.05 and 8.08, so, uh, 18.08. And that means uh, at the end of the of this Symbio 18OA or 5, uh, we all have the, the innovation day. So that means the next innovation day, it's the innovation day in May. And then the last one for this year will be in September. And between, we will try to give you more details what's going on in the company, because it's very important for us to give you more insights, to get you more into our boat and uh, to involve you more and uh, to establish also more uh, communities, also more channels like a YouTube channel. We know exactly we focused a lot in project. We focused a lot in good setting up good customers, but now we have to inform also or to to make it more public uh, the, the good tool, the good innovation that comes from Germany. So, um, yeah, um, what have we done? We have a new release. Uh, the release candidate 1801 is, is on place. And in the beginning of the 2nd of February, we will release this candidate. And so then it will be also available for the on-premise uh, customer. And we will update the cloud in a, in a next step then. So, and we worked in the beginning of this year uh, on the strategy. We have a complete strategy in place and it's very important because the strategy follows uh, or is focusing also on a complete uh, change here in the company. We have a complete organizational change. Um, I'm not sure if you are a little bit uh, deeper in the, in the Scrum methodology, there is a nexus. So we, we work on a nexus uh, framework now and uh, that gives us more and more a focused, focused on strategy, on customer perspectives into the development and into our uh, work. And yeah, and then we also said that we are talking about the planned topic digitized documents. And on the other hand, we uh, introduced the new Symbio product process portal. We are still working on it. And the plan is in the next couple of weeks to open it for all the customers that they get a fewer uh, access into it. So then you can also place requirements into it and you see all the processes that are, that are related to Symbio with trainings, with uh, information, and with clarification on different uh, wordings, naming conventions. And you see 
what's going on, what you can do, what are the capabilities. And in this tool, we also uh, develop our concepts combined into the Nexus framework. So that means um, it's also a platform where we give customers the po possibility to come in to the concepts and uh, to work together on a process oriented concept uh, to integrate in Symbio. So that's 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 the point the, where we are at the moment, uh, the, the January the 25. And um, yeah, I also got this uh, response from some customer. They said to me, oh, it was so nice that we had this uh, last, the last uh, presentation also in Munich. And yeah, so I will say we do it uh, next time in May in Munich and in Dortmund. We have also a subsidiary in Dortmund. So we can combine Dortmund, Munich and online. So then you can choose if you want to join us here uh, also for some nice food. And uh, perhaps we can also go outside uh, and celebrate outside with uh, some barbecue. We will see. And yeah, for us, it's very important uh, to say, oh, let's let's combine it again. So there was a response from our customer. It would be nice to see also the other customers and to come in a collaboration and a chat. And I think that's very important. We're also planning to do some things about clubs to with our main um, uh, yeah, interest uh, customers. So if if you are also interested to join meetings with other customers, so there will be also some um, happenings uh, in the next couple of months. So we will in, in we will give you an insight and uh, we will give you a news so that you know exactly when we are uh, planning to do this. So yeah, that's again, um, you see that was also in one of our last uh, release notes. Um, that's now our a release strategy and it's very important for us and we had a lot of discussion to have this releases and to to look that we are keep on the releases so the release date is a very important date now for the company and it could be happen that a feature is not really we get not the feature really fixed or not really run in a, in a release so we have a new complete development in the cloud so that gives us the opportunity to say, okay, we leave it in a feature branch and it comes up in the next release. So the date is very important because on this date, we run a lot of big projects at the moment. So uh, the release timeline is uh, very sensitive for us. So that means the 19th of January, the release candidate is finished uh, last week and uh, the 2nd of February, we will come up with the release. So that's our plan. So now we come up with uh, the roadmap and I put it again in green that the features are not prioritized. So that means there will be changes. In the last innovation day, we talked about that it's very important that we say the change is welcome. Welcome change is very important. So that means in the middle of this year, we could recognize that is it is not really a good idea to stick on the plan to stick on this feature there's a absolutely new idea so we should integrate this new idea um, but I will go through uh, about that's part of our strategy we broke down the strategy into initiatives and there are not only initiatives in in, a, in a, on the product level, but the product initiatives are the epics in our company. So that means the epics are also combined from the different teams. We have uh, four different teams. That's uh, the product team, the, the project team, and the customer team and the service team. And we are establishing at the moment in Serbia, another development team and in South Africa as well, another development team. So we, we, we're growing very fast at the moment. So that's uh, in Serbia, there will be more than five people uh, who are working on, on, on uh, different, uh, yeah, different uh, capabilities that we are uh, putting into this team. So filtering, you saw it already, but filtering is what you saw is, is the beginning of filtering. So it's very important. We run with big, big uh, enterprises. So uh, for example, on the automotive, there are 1,000, 150,000 people all around the world. They want to run 
on one database with this filtering capabilities and we have other uh, big enterprises they want to use it as well also a, a big um, automotive company here in munich they also want to start working on this filtering with all the different brands with all the different products and the organization so that means it's a beginning and there will be a lot of nice features coming also to enhance this feature on the other hand we um, uh, added some method and workflow configuration capabilities they are already in 8001 but it's not released it was uh, the plan to test this now because we want to get uh, we don't want to do a configuration and method configuration for customers in the future. So we want to integrate this everything into the admin area so you can set up your own uh, configuration. So that gives you the opportunity to add attributes, to rename objects and to uh, hide objects, to model the workflows, the different workflows and to combine the workflows with other uh, capabilities like, for example, the documentation workflow or the confirmation workflow. So one thing is would be also we would come up with a confirmation workflow in the future so that um, people, uh, they get an information, there's a change, please confirm this change that you read through or that you did the trainings because training is also one part that's included in our capabilities. So then we optimize our existing feature. We know there are some existing features because there's a big backlog and we got a lot of back uh, response from our customer. Oh, it looks like the, the review cycle is not like this, uh, what I expected. So there is a strategic list of, um, of capabilities that we are uh, using at the moment or that we have at the moment features and we will optimize the features also on this way it's uh, something like that we do for each release uh, to 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 uh, to uh, for, yeah to it, 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 uh, enhance it or to optimize it another point is also going into the the methodology that's the holistic matter model um, at the moment it's very very fast what we are doing because um, I spoke about, for example, the, the automotive company, and we decided to establish um, the complete methodology from this company. They are one of the leaders in the market in Germany from an innovation part. Not We base it on the standard and we enhance the standard. For example, we integrated now the customer journey into Symbio. It will be released with 1803, and the customer journey gives you the possibility to design customer journey maps, to integrate goal strategies, to combine it with process models and to, to get more the focus also on the customer. And that's very important because customer experience management is the, 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 the point. It means you will come up with a customer facet view that's like the same like processes, like organization, you will have a customer view and there you will find all the related items to the customer experience management strategy project will come up so and if you are a customer and you say oh, i'm not interested in the customer journey then it's easy to switch it off in the admin area so another point is we enhance especially the qm and the integrated management uh, system features so that means the most of our customers are focused on quality management, integration management. We're thinking more on business management in a complete way. So, and we try to, to keep uh, focused on a digitized QM system. I'm also had a, had a presentation on the autonom autonomous, autonomic, autonom uh, what is it called? Autonom, autonomic, uh, uh, management system like the cars and we believe in that uh, we believe that we have a, a personal assistant in the future that's uh, that's runs through symbio and symbio has a wonderful capability there are a lot of structured information and we divide the or we have a lot of views inside of the company so that's one thing and the search is something that we um, so I'm on the search and filtering uh, that's uh, will be uh, enhanced with thinking about uh, the 
if we, for example, come up with Elasticsearch, but that's not that's not uh, clear at the moment if we do this. But there will be definitely uh, some some very nice things coming up with this with the new search. So on the next point, it's also something a little bit in green because we are on the road for this uh, semantic document digitization. So the demand semantic document digitization, I think that's one of the big capabilities this year. So we will want to leave the the forms and all the working instruct or perhaps working instruction not, but the uh, rules and guidelines, the the process instruction to to leave the documents and to come up with a a complete surface with knowledge snippets where you can set up nicely and um, a web-based document, but I will come later on this. The standard REST API is one of also one of our uh, big parts at the moment inside the development. So that means we switch all our developments, our interfaces to the REST API. And this is something that we are doing when we are talking with a customer about an API, an interface. Then we try to do the API focused on the product. So there's, for example, is a, a tool called uh, Doxis that's from the SAIR. It's one of the document management um, systems where a lot of big customers are using this tool. So we make a, a standard interface and we're also talking to the, uh, to the partners and to the suppliers from different um, um, tools. So that's also the idea with SAP. That's also the idea with Microsoft. We're already in the flow with Microsoft on this and uh, we're coming deeper, deeper into the Microsoft area. So we also part now on a digitization uh, in initiative. So that's XReach and that will be also coming up with an uh, API uh, standards, um, yeah, what you say, a standard uh, gateway. And the standard gateway is including SharePoint, everything, and then you can communicate with all the tools if you like to say, okay, I want to communicate with XReach over XReach into the complete 365 environment or SharePoint or something else. So on the other hand, um, we enhance the reporting. So that's one of our parts that we are doing uh, right now in our development teams in uh, Europe. So in the in Serbia. So they are uh, enhancing our existing reporting to set up more and more ad hoc reporting. So it's also the idea to deliver content, to deliver templates, so that you can reuse uh, content templates uh, in the reporting. The graphical process content comparison, it's not like only the graphical, it's also the content comparison so that you can see what was the changes. That's already inside Symbio. We have this life cycle diagram where you can see what's what was the change. It's, it's, uh, it's something like a little process mining in, in Symbio where you see all the steps, what's going on and what was the change and you see what, which attribute changed, which name changed. It's already in, but we want to have a better user interface to compare also graphical process content. Enhance um, editor um, means the editor capability will be enhanced. We know exactly there is still some open points and we believe in the editor or, um, as well especially from a perspective on the 2D uh, uh, modeling capability. So we have customers, they already define and design, uh, for example, their subsidiaries, their showrooms with Symbio, and you can walk through the showroom into the, uh, into the uh, process areas. And it gives you also the opportunity, for example, to uh, build up your, uh, machineries and your supply chain and to step into into this model that's something what we are doing in mexico at the moment or it will be come up in the in the next couple of months to to combine it with a with a plan in mexico to to integrate symbio in the complete integrated management system yeah um the transport generation will be one of the future things as well it's very important we want to 
get Symbio more and more into the daily business and we want to use this capability in the beginning to generate, for example, a scrum board based on processes. We want to generate a risk uh, risk uh, assessment on this or for audit management. So, and we believe uh, that's more and more coming up to say, okay, let's let's have a, a complete uh, process infrastructure and we filter this and then we press the button and generate a complete project notepad so that people can work on this. That will be something at the middle of this year and the end of this year. It's it's not the biggest focus, but it will be one of our uh, strategic focus. Then we deeper integrate the existing process mining with, uh, with our partner, uh, PATH. Uh, they have a wonderful process mining capability now in uh, uh, in Power BI. Power BI is part of Symbio. This is also something that we are also with, uh, talking with uh, Microsoft because here you can do a lot of uh, key PI measurements and process mining. The integration of third-party microservices means uh, that's also one of the points that we have in the interfaces. So uh, when, we, when we use the REST API, uh, it allows a lot of external partners, also customers, to develop their own microservice. So for example, all the, the interfaces that we are establishing then that will be microservices, services that comes up and that gives us the opportunity to, uh, uh, yeah, to grow much faster than uh, in, the, in the past and to have a bigger ecosystem. We are one, we decided to go into the ecosystem Azure. I think that was the most clever point that we have done. Uh, I think that was really, really good. And we're using at the, low, at the moment also some cognitive services in Symbio that comes up with AI. So artificial intelligence will be definitely something for the next year and the year after, I'm sure. Because I, Microsoft also asked me why we should not integrate Cortana in Symbio. It would be nice to use it as a search, for example, and to create more and more the capability to talk with Symbio. So that's the point for the third party microservices. So that makes us flexible and gives us a lot of new opportunity. Uh, the continuous platform optimization is, we decided we don't want to grow only, only with people. So I think that's a very old model. We want to grow with an automatic and high, uh, highly optimized process. That's one of our strategy. We want to, we will grow definitely. So there uh, at the moment we are looking for a lot of people, but um, yeah, it's not, I think it's not the focus because um, it's much better to have a small company with a, a personal uh, environment, but to have a big, a big reel that you, that you run. So our focus is like, if you compare it with other products that goes into the cloud, automatically uh, tested, automatically transferred, automatically operated, automatically uh, updated. And on the service side, you use a chatbot and something else that a customer can also use uh, immediately or gets immediately uh, uh, feedback and uh, better, better understanding. So, but that's, that's the second step. The first step is to, optimize it and to work on this. So on the other hand, we already started with uh, some people in our company. They said, ah, oh, they want to set up in their free time an app. And uh, this is something coming up with also the movement scanner. We solved the problem. I'm not sure if you uh, heard this. Uh, we solved the problem with the recognition of the handwritings on the movement uh, slides. And what you can do is you can model on the wall, can make take a picture and put it up into the Azure movement service. We have a movement service now. It's not released, but it will come up soon. So then you can import the data into Symbio directly. It's also possible to import this data into other BPMN tools, like for example, the SAP workflow uh, components or uh, from, from Oracle or something else to integrate this process model into your environments and into your, um, yeah, in your tools. So, and it's also the possibility to take away, to take the processes with you on the app, on a tablet, to go somewhere else on a, for example, on a, 
in an area where nobody uh, has an, a connection to the internet to take the processes with you. So on the bottom, you see that we are working on the Symbio product process portal. We will inform you immediately after we release this. And on the other hand, we are also working on establishing a new Symbio learning world. At the moment, we're doing uh, a prototyping and setting up this for with the German railway, but uh, we definitely want to uh, enhance it and also establish a complete learning management system combined with the next step, that's the 365 customer engagement, the service platform from, um, from uh, Microsoft to integrate this. So this will be uh, in the middle of this year, we will uh, definitely start with the 365 service platform. So we want to change our existing service online platform to the uh, customer engagement, uh, customer portal from Microsoft. Yo, um, customer experience management, that's exactly the point. I have this uh, slide again about our innovation portal. The innovation portal is very important for us. We, uh, we have all the content in it. Also, thank you to uh, our colleagues, especially also Mikhail. He's also working on the, on the innovation portal. And uh, so it gives you the opportunity to download, for example, the manuals, to add new requirements, to uh, help us in the continuous improvement based on processes. So it's not like the way that a lot of people doing is it's only a list. So we want to do it based on our innovation portal. So that gives us also the point that we are enhance our own Symbio capability to use it more and more interactive with um, other companies and come up with also the idea of uh, having more and more a chain. I'm not using the word process on blockchain, but it will go in this direction. So, um, and this gives us uh, also the point to learn and how we can interact with Symbio and our customers and connect the e-learnings, the YouTube channel, and yeah, and also the BPM governance end-to-end -end processes to understand more and more what could be the best processes for our customer, for the BPM, for the QM, for the management systems. And also we combine this at the moment we, as, um, um, integrating the customer journey into our process house. We are also organized with our own tool here inside the company. And then what we are doing is customer journey in Symbio so that we understand what is the touch points? What are the touch points with you? At the moment, we know exactly a lot of uh, customers says we are too too close to, uh, to uh, not we are we are hiding ar around the bush and uh, nobody knows what what we are doing so that's very important to give it more and more outside and to understand the touch points to understand what makes you happy what makes you unhappy and uh, and to improve exactly on this point to combine it with our strategy so um, that's again what we are doing, Symbio portal, and then we're coming up with the Symbio BPM and BPM learning world. There we are using workforce performance bill, uh, not workforce performance, enable now. And what we are also looking for is a professional learning management system included in the Azure cloud. So, and then the customer platform. So if you have questions, please put the question on the, on the list and then we go afterwards on to this question. So document uh, digitization, um, that's not uh, a future feature, it's a real feature and it's already, we already implemented uh, the, some of the capabilities, we prototyped, we have a first solution and we optimize this first solution. That means our our focus is to have the small knowledge, small knowledge uh, snippets, and the small knowledge snippets gives you uh, the opportunity to update information in a rules, in a guideline, very easy on one point and one single point of through, and to reuse especially existing objects, because we have to we focus on the on the uh, future, and the future is to run with uh, artificial intelligence through all the content and to give a guidance to 
to, for example, Watson and Cortana, Alexa, to, to work with um, the content in a structured way. I think the structured way is a very, very big capability for our process management teams. And so far, so far it's very important to leave the PDFs, the Word documents, it's old fashioned, but we still can generate them. So that's very important, but it will be the future will be digitization of a quality management system. And this is something, it's not like a slow development, it's a really fast development. We are already with customers in the move to change to this. And I'm sure they will have a, a very, very big future if they implement it like this. So the reading confirmation, it's one of our workflows, the new ones, the variant management and filtering is part of it. The better visualization for the viewer is a very important point. You see pictures, it's combined with the picture of the flow, it's combined with a, with a process characteristics, with the process description that you saw from machine and fabric. And it gives you a less formatting issue because you can develop a template as an admin you can configure the template, you can create and change the content into the template as an editor, and you get it as a viewer in a complete other way. There was an idea from a customer to represent the content in Symbio like PDF. And I think that's great. That's a wonderful idea. So we have a lot of um, possibilities because that's also one of our major USPs in the market to generate models, to generate views, and to give a, a, a filter generation view as well. So you see there's a, there's a big, big uh, possibility. So what we are doing is we have an automatic report to, to set up to integrate the documents. If you have template, if you are stricted on the templates, we can get them into the system. But that's only the point if the templates are in the same way. So that means we uh, we have a, a configuration that's based on a on a one template. You can also have five six templates. But um, if if the people the editors change the template, then it comes up with a with an arrow on this point. But uh, it's a possibility to upload 300 400 uh, rules and guidelines if you like. So then you have all the content in Symbio, and then we come up with this automatically release also to generate these documents. And at the moment, we're also generating documents and uh, store them, the documents, in a, in a archiving system. So also this capability is possible. So that could be, it's a, it's a mock-up what you see here at the moment, but it's, it's a possibility to view the documents in a way like this, to have a designed web form. And we are also sure that we have uh, a lot of other perspectives to look on the content. And uh, also with uh, some big players we're designing. So for example, tomorrow we have a design a workshop on on a completely new design from the surface of a of a representing of a process uh, house and a process uh, front end. So I'm I'm really looking forward to to enhance also Symbio on this so that we have a a wonderful user experience. So that means we have also the possibility to generating IDs to uh, that's also a microservice that we implemented. Uh, you can also use the microservice locally on your on-premise installation, but it generates you numberings and all the IDs to the different objects and the different um, points. So, yeah, I'm through on this. And yeah, uh, yeah, uh, two minutes. <laughs> a little bit, it was a little bit too long, my speech. So, Mikael, do we have any questions? Thank you very much for listening.
Yes, um, the idea is the, to have the document document digitization capability not only for documents, also for process, also for uh, the requirement management, also for trainings, also for other views. And yes, you can combine it then with all the different objects that we have inside, and you can also integrate uh, other uh, information that is allowed to integrate into the, the document capabilities. Yeah, so there will be uh, tables that you can do, uh, some uh, lists, videos, you can add videos as well. That's also a capability. So that means especially the videos will not upload the video in Symbio, but you can integrate the video in a, in a frame so that the video can run uh, in Symbio. Yeah, no questions. Michael, no questions? So that means we can open the bottle of beer. <laughs> no questions. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, uh, something? Nothing? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And thank you for your effort, uh, Mikael. Thanks for the organization of this. Uh, thanks to Sonia. And uh, thank you very much uh, to Miss McRae. It was wonderful. And yeah, we are really looking forward to go with you into the future. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, to contact Mikael. We already got an, um, uh, a question from a customer on the process description, so we will come back to you. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice journey. And uh, yeah, we wish you a wonderful evening and a good uh, way home. And yeah, enjoy your day. Thank you very much. <laughs> and your beer. <laughs> okay, bye.